Today we're talking with Aaron Rath from Home Systems Data. They specialize in inspections. Thanks for being with us. How are you? Thank you, Dan. Thank you. I want to talk about getting your home ready for inspection because I often, as a realtor, go out and wonder if any of these sellers (laughs) ever get their house ready for inspection. Your response. My response to that is basic things that we that we look for is maintenance things. Caulking, getting a like a pre-list inspection done before they're even listing it. Mm. That's the biggest thing. That way then you don't have any surprises that come up when you sell the house for your potential buyer or seller. All right, how about issues specific to Colorado? Well, some of the stuff that is specific to Colorado is we have some heaving soil. Mm. We gotta be careful on on that stuff, you know. Once we start seeing the sidewalk move and stuff like that, there's preventative things that we can do to help mitigate that. Mm. Um, caulking cracks and concrete, mm. stuff like that to keep the water from going down in there in the winter time and making it bigger. Mm. You know, and the drainage issues around Colorado it goes along with the soil. Radon is a big deal in Colorado and again mm. it's mostly because of our soil. People I think are confused by this point. Well, the builder told me there's a passive radon system in the house. Is that anything? Uh, a passive radon system is, is it's a basic ventilation system. Right. It's not a true radon mitigation system. Okay. It's, it's helping, but it's not a true system. A true system is where they come in and they drill a hole in the concrete floor in the basement. Yeah. Put a pipe in, run it outside, and a fan outside. Okay. And then it's, you know, dispersed through the air that way. If you had a budget, say, of 5000 bucks to get your house ready, where would you spend it? My, my biggest recommendation to people at that is, one would be get a radon test so that you know going in. Mm-hmm. Two would be drainage. Mm. So start sloping sloping things things away away from the house. Right, bring the rock in. Right, make sure that everything is sloped away. Make sure you have the proper downspout extensions on four to five feet away from the home. And then then work on the inside maintenance stuff. Let's say $10,000. And the reason why I say this is because concrete is a big Mm -hmm. issue in Colorado. Yes. I don't think I've ever seen a piece of concrete in Colorado without Mm -hmm. a crack. Right. So the question is, when do you replace it? Well, the, the... when you replace it is, is when the crack is over an inch wide. Okay. Once that crack exceeds an inch, it's time to replace it. Yeah. Because then any water or anything, any amount of caulking is getting down inside and there's nothing you can do then. And you're going to red flag that all day, right? Oh, yep. Yes. Good information. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate Thank it. You. Find more real estate videos at BrokerIPTV.com.